Although, as you see, I've got a bit of a prepared speech here, it does come as a big surprise to get this reward. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't get the envelopes mixed up. <laughs> because cobblers several, seldom, if ever, win a prize. Our business, whether it's trading as Timson, Max Bielman, Super Sna Snappy Snaps, and recently Johnson's The Cleaners and Jeeves, is happy to occupy modest little shops that provide a range of services that we hope add, the attraction to any, add, add to the attraction of any shopping centre or supermarket. But we certainly aren't retail superstars. Over the last five decades, it's been my privilege to be trading alongside some of the best retailers in the world. I've seen the birth of Body Shop, Next, and Pret-a-Manger, and the last days of McFisheries, John Collier, and Woolworths. Retailing has never been dull. I believe this award, for which I'm very grateful, recognizes the way my colleagues have turned a very ordinary business in a very unfashionable sector into a highly profitable chain of actually 1,850 branches. <laughs> that is still growing pretty quickly. It helps a lot being a totally private business with no debt. We're free to run it our way and to do many things that other retailers wouldn't dare to do, particularly giving our shop colleagues total freedom to use their initiative, change prices and spend up to 500 pounds to settle a complaint on the spot. Go to any Max Spielman outlet now and you'll see how our branch colleagues use that freedom to create a new thriving photo business when others think the sector is in terminal decline. Timson is all about its people. So it isn't, it isn't surprising that I'm going to follow the Oscar winner's script by saying that I'm only here because of the amazing support I get from Timson colleagues. We have lots of superstars, but I'd like to give a special mention to just three. My guest tonight, our finance director, Parish Majifia, joined Timson just over 13 years ago. He is a quite amazing man. Few accountants would have been able to understand our counterintuitive management style that pays scant regard to budgets and doesn't allow managers to tell anyone what to do. <laughs> but Parrish totally gets it and has been personally responsible for increasing our profits while controlling our cash and, at the same time, has been a very close member of the Timson family. Secondly, a confession. Since I stood down as chief executive nearly, nearly 14 years ago, the business has done so much better. <laughs> That's thanks to my son James, who took on the role at the age of 32. Since then, he's not only grown our sales and profit by 800%, but also established an amazing scheme that you already heard of, which helps us recruit ex-offenders and those 450 current quarries represent 10% of our workforce. And they've all joined us direct from prison. <laughs> we are lucky. We employ some fantastic people, personalities who create a great company culture. But the person who inspired that culture is, sadly, no longer with us. My late wife, Alex, taught us, by her example, particularly as a foster carer, to respect and help other people. As well as continuing to help look after children through our Timson Foundation, we go out of our way to support and praise the colleagues who give our customers great service. That is why we have eight free-stay holiday homes, a hardship fund to help deal with debt, and everyone gets an extra day's paid holiday on their birthday. Every month, we make at least one colleague's dream come true. And last September, to mark 150 years since my great-grandfather opened his first shop, 
we took 150 frontline colleagues on a five-day acti activity pack break on Malta. Alex said, there aren't enough givers in this world. You can do good and still have a good company at the same time. I think we have proved her right. Using kindness, generosity, and respect to run a business not only makes a difference, it is also a great way of both making money and having fun. As retailers, in close touch with both customers and colleagues, we are all better placed than any other sector to enjoy the benefits that can come from a culture based on kindness and generosity, served up with a decent dollop of common sense. <laughs>